so glad I got to be your apprentice. Robert, words cannot explain how appreciative I am of you helping me all these years. What are you trying to say? Robert, I am very sick and I believe my time is almost up. What do you mean your time's almost up? <laughs> I would be willing to take over your business. I'm so sorry. Oh. The Stamp Act of 1765 was a tax imposed by Great Britain. This tax forced the colonists of the New World to pay taxes on every piece of paper used, such as licenses, legal documents, and newspapers. As a merchant, Morris was greatly impacted by this ridiculous tax, and he decided to revolt against them. Morris joined the colonists in their revolution against Great Britain. The Stamp Act put into place by the king, who was in charge of England and the colonies. The king was an absolute monarch. Thomas Hobbes agreed with an absolute monarch. Thomas Hobbes believed that a government is legitimate if people voluntarily submit to its authority. Robert Morris did not submit to its authority because he did not like the Stamp Act. That is the way that Robert Morris disagreed with Thomas Hobbes. The Stamp Act is ruining my business. I'm sick of all the king controlling the colonists and the trade. Robert, are you so upset about the Stamp Act? Yes. I'm sick of all this crap. We need to revolt against the king! Yeah! Let's go! Robert Morris profited greatly from the business that he inherited from his boss when he was younger. He made a huge difference in the war and made a lot of investments. He was willing to make a difference and share the wealth with everyone so that they could win the war against the king and his rule over the colonists. Oh, would anybody, anybody, donate money toward the war? If nobody donates money, then we will certainly lose. You, sir, would you like to donate money? How about you, sir, would you like to donate money? You, sir, would you like to donate money toward the war? I could donate $10,000. $10,000? That will certainly fund the entire war! Yeah! Hey, Congressman, I have an idea. Well, sir, tell me about your idea. It's going to be a national bank. A national bank? Yep. Well, tell me about this national bank you speak of. Well, I haven't really worked out the details yet, but it's going to be awesome. Well, do you at least have a name for your bank? It's going to be the Bank of North America. I believe that the bank should be well supported until it can support itself, and then it can support us. So, Mr. Morris, what type of government do you think would be ideal? I think a large government with separation of powers that, let the, that represented the people. I agree, sir. And I didn't like at all how the king controlled the people back in England. That was just ridiculous. I also agree with that, Sir Morris. I believe the people should be able to make choices and represent the government. I don't like how back in England it was a complete monarchy 
and how they just controlled what the people did. So now, we're gonna revolt and rise up and win this war. Do you agree? I wholeheartedly agree, Morris. Robert Morris said that he wants the United States of America's future government to represent the people, rather than just representing the king and only the king. John Locke also thought that a government should represent the people. In this way, Robert Morris greatly relates to John Locke. Robert Morris also agrees with Baron de Montesquieu on the idea of the separation of powers. In Robert signing the Bill of Rights, he agreed with the checks and balances. This keeps the different branches of the government from being too powerful. In this way, Robert Morris agrees with Baron de Montesquieu. So anyhow, man, I personally really like our current government. We are so close to independence. Well, I don't really like the government. It's pretty good, but... But what? What do you think could possibly wrong be wrong with our government? Well, I like a large government with many small divisions. It sounds to me like you, sir, are part of the Federalist Party. That's it. I've made up my mind. I'm going to the Federalist Party. Because Morris believes that all governments should be large, and he thinks government should be split into divisions, Morris decides that he is going to be a part of the Federalist Party. He also did have a lot, and I mean a lot of money, so that the government could support the people and be able to listen to their decisions. Therefore, he disagreed with Jean Jacques Rousseau, and because Rousseau believed that the best political unit was a small one, in this aspect, Morse disagreed with Rousseau. Robert Morris, ma'am. You, sir, have you seen Robert Morris? Mr. Morris, we're gonna find you. You, sir, have you seen Mr. Morris? Robert Morris, ma'am. You, sir, have you seen... Wait a minute! You are Mr. Morris! No, no! You're under no! arrest! No! I didn't do You're anything! I didn't do it! I'm just poor. Get me out of here! Get me out of here! I help fund this country and help them win the war. Get me out! Get me out! Okay, we're done. I'm so cold. Don't have any more clothes. I'm so poor. I made so many bad investments. And I, I don't know what to do. I can't buy food, water anything for myself and I, I don't know what to do next I can't go anywhere for help because no one likes me anymore but I just need I need a friend I really do I need a friend oh. Mr. Morris yeah. are you okay no, no I'm not okay I'm not okay does it look like I'm okay no Mr. Morris it looks like you're very sickly I am I'm very sick I can't I can't go much longer no, Mr. Morris, you can I go can't. no longer. Uh, I can't. No, <laughs> Mr. Morris. No, no, no! At the end of Morris's life, he spent too much money, and he wasn't getting enough money to keep him going. Robert died a very poor and lowly man. He went to jail for his enormous debt, and eventually got out, but he had to live on the streets for five years before passing away. The end of his life was very horrible. He wasn't able to do anything but sit on the street and beg for money. Morris went from the richest to as wealthy as dirt. Although he did fund for the war and made a huge difference, he did not come out on top. He highly impacted the Revolutionary War as he funded the war almost single-handedly.